What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorel Plays. Um, I am supposed to be playing a game today and I would like to first start by apologising to my subscribers who are here only for the games. But I am going to get back on track. I'm just, I've not been very well. Um, and also I'm trying to relocate my recording area as my birds are getting older now. So they are quite loud when I'm trying to record gaming videos and they always start chirping the minute I sit there. I've been feeling a little bit down lately, so I thought, what better than some um, retail therapy? Uh, products from everything five pounds. So I've got a big box here with all my goodies in it. I spent 55 pounds on stuff. Um, I didn't buy too many things because I didn't want to take the risk. Um, we don't know how these things are going to turn out, but I think it's time. So to I'm going to show out. you what I've got first. Right, I'm a big fan of comfy wear, which you already know about me, I think. Um, and this one is a, it's a pair of leggings, but I think these are kind of what I class as, you know, they go one step ahead of being just leggings. They're a thick material. Let's open it up and have a look. Sorry about all the rustling sounds. And I will stand up and show you what all this stuff looks like properly and put it on and show you. Okay, so we've got this one. And it's just kind of like a suede material with some buttons on the front and gold buttons. You know I like gold. And they are a little bit like jeggings. I kind of grew out of jeggings a while ago, but um, I do still love my leggings. And sometimes, especially for the winter months, you need... To, something a little bit thicker than just leggings. So there's that one. I'm going to show you everything I've got and then I'm going to try it all on. I don't actually remember ordering this. Strange, it's got little glittery bits in it. It's just the top, it's white. Glittery bits and it's got this zip running down the back. So I shall try that on in a sec. And then I ordered some trackies. So I love trackies and um, sometimes trackies make you look a bit messy um, because they're kind of bulgy and you know not really fitted to your shape so I've got faith in these ones let's hope I let's hope it turns out that way they're cuffed at the bottoms they've got the drawstring waist no pockets and what the heck is that I don't remember seeing that on the picture I mean, little logos like this always make it look like they're um, lounge sets or pyjamas. So that's a little surprise there that I didn't expect. And so nine items and then you've got your delivery on top of that. But anyway, I am mostly here to let you know whether the clothes are any good. Um, I bought this blouse. I do love a blouse or a shirt. And again, it's got gold buttons. So that always ticks boxes for me. And I do love shirts and blouses with pockets on the chest. That is so strange. I mean, this one's not even in a packet. Um, I've just pulled this out of the box, literally, and it hasn't even got one crease in it. And if you know me, I don't like ironing, so that's a good thing. And I took a big risk here, but one of the things I really wanted to know is, I mean, you can understand getting clothes for a fiver. Sorry, itchy eye. Um, it's quite reasonable to be able to get clothes for a fiver. I mean, you can go in Primark and get something nice for a fiver. Um, it, although they have increased their prices and I'm poor, so I shop at Primark. And I don't always see the point in paying that little bit extra if you can get that item cheaper. But sometimes the quality reflects the price. I'm a bit iffy about buying shoes for a fiver. Oh my god, they look weird. Okay. I thought these would be quite handy to just wear around the house or, you know. I mean, I'm going to start exercising again because I've totally lost it with the exercise side of life. And I thought these would be quite good to, you know, I don't want to wear my best trainers exercising in the house. Because I do buy Nike trainers. I don't skimp on um, shoes. I do buy um, the more expensive shoes just to make sure that they last me and that they fit right. Feet are important, aren't they? These are very light. Stretchy material. 
I'm not sure about the lace on the top. That looks a bit strange. I thought they were funky anyway, so I thought, right, I'm going to go for those. I do like funky shoes. Right, chuck them over there. Oops. Okay, and... Oh, my God. Okay, these do not look like they looked in the picture. I like beige boots, but these look a bit... Hopefully they'll look better on, put it that way. And I like quick stuff where you can just open the zip and get it on and not deal with laces. It's not as furry inside as I thought it would be for a boot. And I don't know, the sole looks a little bit cheap. And it's a funny shape at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell. But it kind of scoops in right here. Okay, I think this was a bad idea, to be honest with you. Okay, let's chuck that over there. Let's hope I don't end up sending all this stuff back, eh? Right, the next one is another pair of shoes. I've just got one more pair of shoes after this. As I said, I didn't want to risk buying too many things. Like, I said I like funky shoes, and these looked so funky in the picture. Hmm, they look all right. They're like the brogue type shoes with the white sole. I do like black and white together. They look nice. And the sole doesn't look distorted like the boots do. The inside looks soft enough and we'll see. Okay, and the last thing is another pair of those um, elasticated trainer type things I do love them I've got a pair and I'm contemplating getting the Adidas ones because I bought mine from Primark at the time when they had them they are so comfy I just I basically live in those especially when the weather's bad and I don't mind ruining my shoes because uh they're cheap okay I think they look all right they're very light they've got like a little glittery look the soles are a bit weird with all these lines on it. We shall see. Right, let's get trying on these clothes then. Here it goes. Oh, stepping all over the wrappers that I've left on the floor. Not sure, not sure. They're not bad. They are comfy. I can move around in them. They look a bit... Oh my god, I've just noticed something really stupid. Can you see that the buttons don't really match? That will kind of do my head in. It's quite obvious. I mean, I haven't got even hips, but you know... I'm not even going to undo it because I'm lazy like that. I might have to undo one button on the top in case I can't get my head through. If this um, blouse is good, I'll be very happy because it won't need ironing ever, hopefully. Okay, the material feels kind of wacky. It's very long. Oh my God, I didn't think it would be this long. But it's nice for those days when you want to cover the butt area. I haven't got the ideal place to put this uh, tripod today for this. It's a little bit on the low side, but I guess you don't need to really see my face. I kind of like that. I'd probably tuck it in. It'll look nice tucked in. It doesn't feel like the best quality material, but I can handle that. Right, okay, so that is two items I can hold on to that I don't have to send back. The material on this is not stretchy at all, this blouse. I've got another blouse almost identical to this, and it's got kind of stretchy material, so it's a better fit. And what site? Oh my god, look at that, no label. I always wondered what the catch was with this stuff. There's no label, so we don't even know where that's from. Okay, this one's got a label by Swan. It's a small. Okay, let's get this on. What the flip? 
okay it's got like a lining material inside just on the back so if you wanted to uh, utilize this zip it's kind of pointless because you're gonna have this white bit sticking out of it so you can't show any back with it which kind of defeats the object in my mind does that actually go on the back or the front oh I don't even know how to get this on I can't even get my arms in okay it looks like it goes on the back here we go let's try and get it on once again the lining material in this is not stretchy at all oh put my arm through the neck here so uh, whoa this is not meant to be a three quarter length sleeve thing but the short the sleeves are very short i do have long arms so that might just be me and it didn't look see-through on the picture so the material's kind of thin is it going to be itchy that's always the question i have with uh glittery stuff okay and you can see the lining material which kind of ruins it for me to be honest you can see the extra line here and the sleeves are a little bit short they kind of stretch into place which isn't bad neckline it's not bad either but that lining on the back is going to really annoy me like trying to take it off is a bit of a struggle okay so we are done with top okay they're on these actually do feel like pajama bottoms and the material is very thin you can actually see my nickel line so that's not really a look I want for outdoors and you didn't hear this because I done it off camera but them leggings that I took off some of the stitching went as I was taking them off okay this kind of shows off my belly bulge which isn't the best thing um, maybe I'd have to buy a bigger size so what does the label say Claudia Gizani oh they're a bit on the tight side which is what I worry about with shoes they're not the comfiest things they're not as comfy as Primark ones hmm okay I'm not sure these might be in the list of going back they're not bad but they're kind of squashing my toes on to the next one I do hope I'm gonna keep something out of this lot okay as if goes up oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay I'm gonna get both of them on and tell you exactly what I think I don't know if I can express what I'm feeling right now you have to try this for yourself to know but I feel cheap shoes that's what I oh my god hang on okay I'm not sure about how these look I'm not too sure at all they kind of don't fit around my leg I can try to um, you can see the gap there I can try to tighten these laces because they look horrendous I don't know what is going on here but most of all oh my god <laughs> walking around in these oh god it's ridiculous because I mean I don't know how to explain it they just feel like I'm walking on cardboard honestly and you know the bit where I said it slopes in the middle at the bottom okay this is useless I can't really show you that you can actually feel that under your foot the arch is in totally the wrong place for me anyway and I feel like when I walk that there's like a little bubble popping just where the arch is in the shoe oh my god oh my god um I can't see myself keeping these ones either god damn it okay and this is how they look oh my god i'm crying oh my god they look so weird and 
I don't know, is it me or are they a little bit different as well? They feel kind of comfy to walk on. The arch is in the right place. The soles feel good. But I'm not sure about this whole lace thing. I don't know what to say. Really strange. I can't see myself wearing these out. And the fact that they're elasticated and the ankle doesn't even fit around your ankle is a bit stupid. Um, I mean, I haven't got the biggest ankles. But I kind of feel... They're a bit cheap looking. The giveaway. Okay, so the last item on the list is these, the brogues. I feel a bit like the tongues are going to let me down because I can see already right here the creases. Like, I don't know whether that's cheap material or... I really don't know. Let me try them on and I'll let you know. Oh my god! <laughs> ah. Oh no! Okay, these are a fail straight away. It's not really about how they look either. I'm going to tell you exactly why in a minute. Okay, so I suppose they don't look too bad, but I was right about the tongue thing that you can see here. And it doesn't matter really how much I pull this up, it will not straighten that out. They're not bad, they fit me, they're not tight on my feet. But there is something ridiculous going on inside these shoes. Absolutely, I mean you'd have to try them on to understand what I'm saying here. But this part where the stitching is, the stitching, I can feel the stitching on the inside. can't really see it but oh my god I don't think I'll be keeping these either so on to the verdict so that was fun I actually I'm still wearing the trackies they feel a bit like they're pushing my belly to give me a second bulge where I shouldn't have one I mean I have got a bulge on my belly I've got a little bulge but you know these trackies are kind of pushing them down pushing my belly down to um, double up on that bulge so I'm getting a little tire. Okay, the verdict is, for me anyway, no more everything five pounds shopping. <laughs> That's all I can say. And all of these, I think they're going back. I think every single thing's going back. So we have the leggings with the buttons that don't match. Then we've got the trackies that look like pyjamas. They're okay if you want to wear them at home as pyjamas, I suppose. But they're a little bit too see-through for me to wear out. And I find that the see-through material when it's not supposed to be is what makes things look cheap. All of the shoes, all of them are going back because there's no way I'm compromising my comfort over money. Money's not everything. So yeah. That's my conclusion, guys, and I would say that if you want to order anything from there, don't expect to get exactly what you've seen in the picture. That's the first thing. Like that white top, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't remember it having any glitters on it. I thought it was a solid white top. Um, and you get what you pay for. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.